Start a new drawing, click this drop down arrow, click new. And since I'm using inches, I'm going to use a CAD 3D template for imperial units and click open. Just going to adjust my screen, open my reference drawing. And I'm going to start working from front view, which is this one here. So bring your drawing to front view. And make sure to work on parallel projection and I'm gonna start drawing a circle which is this one here with a radius of 15.9 so see for circle click anywhere on the screen and enter 15.9 I'm gonna draw a line from the quadrant and go sideways for 5.9 so L for line enter click the quadrant go sideways for 5.9 right click to repeat line from quadrant go upward for 5.9 TR for trim command enter twice and just click this one now I'm gonna join the segment so so J for join command just window the whole thing I'm just gonna move this one somewhere here all right now I'm gonna draw circles so see for circle first one would be with a diameter of 8.3 so type D for diameter option enter and enter 8.3 the next circle would be this one here which is 11.4 so see for circle click that in point a center of your circle type D for diameter option and enter 11.4 now I'm gonna use sweep command instead of modeling panel click this drop down arrow this one here and select sweep and select these two circles and enter and select sweep path now Press the shift key and the wheel of your mouse and just to bring this around and I'm going to turn off the grid and make sure to turn on your dynamic input, polar tracking, object snap tracking and object snap. Now I'm going to remove this thing inside so I'm just going to use subtract command. So inside the solid editing panel, select subtract command, select the object you want to keep, right click and select the object that you don't want. Alright, now the next thing I'm going to do is create a square which is this one here I'm gonna attach it so this is for the flange I'm gonna attach it on top of this elbow so I'm just gonna change the direction of my z-axis vector to change the plane so inside the coordinates panel click um, select z-axis vector click anywhere on the screen just point it upward now I'm gonna use um, square inside the draw panel select uh, rectangle command and enter 14.2 and press uh, comma and enter 14.2 so they have equal sides now which is this one here this one all right now I'm gonna create another square so I could draw these uh, circles and the distance between those so I'm gonna use this dimension here so 10.2 so I'm gonna use another square maybe just put it somewhere here uh, enter 10 10.2 comma 10.2 and enter I'm gonna move this one from center so to locate the center Press the shift key and select mid between two points. So click this midpoint and this midpoint. Now I'm holding the center of the object and attach it here. Shift key again. 
and click mid between mid, mid between two points click the midpoint and this midpoint and I'm gonna create a circle and the diameter for that is I'm gonna use radius it's uh, 1.2 and 0.6 so circle and enter 0.6 Another circle, 1.2 for radius. I'm going to copy these circles from the corner to this corner to this corner and this corner. I'm going to create another circle. I'm going to place the center of the circle at the center of this object so shift right click again select mid between two points so mid po between between midpoint to midpoint and uh, the diameter for that is 11.4 so d type d for diameter option enter and enter 11.4 so what i'm gonna do now is extrude this one so inside the modeling panel Select extrude command and bring it downward for wait. I'm gonna see the thickness is point no the thickness is two. This one here. Alright. So extrude command. Select this object and extrude it downward for two. Now I'm gonna poke a hole through. So I'm just gonna remove the square, which is just a guide. And uh, poke a hole through this object. So inside the modeling panel, select press pull command. Just hover over on that circle. Left click. Bring your cursor downward and left click again. Now for the holes, I think it goes all the way through. So press pull command again. Hover over the center. Left click. Pull your mouse downward and left click again same process here left click mouse downward left click again and the indentation here is I'm gonna check there is no dimension for this one wait so annotate dimension for this one here and this one is 0.4 so use press pull command again and just hover over this area left click and bring your cursor downward or mouse downward and enter 0.4 same process here left click bring your mouse downward and enter 0.4 and enter Point four. Hover over once it turns blue. Left click. Pull your mouse downward and enter point four. Now I don't need these ones here. Or maybe just move these objects somewhere here so I could erase those. So move. I don't need those anymore. So delete, delete. And now I'm gonna place this one move hover over so just on that side there from that um, hole click this top cross so it means you're holding the center of that and attach it to the center of this elbow there you go and I'm gonna apply chamfer which is um, somewhere here. Just give me a sec here. So this one, the chamfer is 45 degrees with a distance of 0.4 and 0.4. So go to solid and um, inside the solid editing panel, click this drop down arrow by the fillet edge, click chamfer edge. And go down to the command window, which is this one here, and select distance. And the first distance is 0.4. Enter. 
and the second distance is 0.4 enter again which is this one here and just click this edge here enter and enter again there you go now I'm just gonna copy this one copy because I'm gonna attach it to this side here but first go to home and inside the modify panel select um, 3d rotate and just rotate this one and hover over this green green one here and once it turns gold click that and just move this for 90 degrees and just follow the green dash line click and enter now I'm gonna move this one move and locate the center of this hole here the first one so click that first cross and attach it to the cross here there you go uh first i'm gonna apply chamfer or fillet this one here for this edge here as you can see it's filleted here the corners and the uh, radius for that is i'm gonna go to annotate click this drop down arrow and select radius option click this edge here and it's 1.6 so go back to home and um, i'll go so go to solid and click this drop down arrow and select fillet edge and for radius go, go back to the command window click this radius option and enter enter 1.6 Click this edge, this edge, this one here, and this edge here. Enter and enter again. Same process, repeat fillet edge, and AutoCAD remembers the last value that we entered. So just click this edge, this edge, this edge, and this edge, and enter and enter again. I think we're done so what I'm gonna do is just union the objects so I'm, I can minimize this one maximize this one now maybe move this one downward all right so to union the objects so go to home and inside the solid editing panel select union command just window the whole thing and um, yeah, I can apply materials Enter. And I'm going to select this one here. So just click this one, this arrow, and bring it up here and just drag it and drop it here. All right. So I like the color there. It's shiny. And I'm going to go to view and select uh, visualize. And I'm going to make this lighter. And I think we're done. So thanks for watching. Uh, please don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified for the next tutorial. And please don't forget to subscribe.